Hey everybody, Danny on here. Thanks for joining us. This week I am super excited to share with you the helicopter drill. If you find that when you're playing golf, you find that you've got some weak strikes. Maybe you're releasing the club a little bit early like this, so you're getting this horrible position here. Maybe you're getting a little bit of a chicken wing. Maybe you're actually, when you're coming down, you're starting to feel like you're coming over here and you can't get a consistent swing that's going backwards and forwards on a very similar line to get consistency in your strike and your accuracy. The helicopter drill, which I shared with one of my clients, Kevin, this week. Kevin was a beginner golfer. So he was somebody who was very inconsistent all over the place. Um, we gave him this drill. Five minutes into the drill, you would not believe what was, we were seeing. The consistency of his backswing coming back here, and more importantly, the, the almost the perfection through impact. I find with a lot of players who don't hit it very far, they get very static with their legs here. These don't move very much. They get a bit flicky with their wrists and lose a lot of power. What we wanted to create is this lovely uh, movement where the lower half moves here and the torso actually stays behind. We don't want that torso coming over. We want, to stay, it's, uh, we want it to stay behind. The problem is, how do we do those things, right? It's already saying, me telling you, just keep this behind, rotate, but you've probably found that it's quite difficult to feel it. The helicopter drill will help you feel just that. It'll help you get into the a perfect impact position and help you form a perfect line back and line through for much more consistency. Before we get into the drill though, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, consider subscribing. I release videos just like this one to help you improve your game. So. Helicopter drill, what is it and how can you start working on it? All I want you to do is very simply is this. Get yourself set up in your posture. So tipping your body forward here. And what we're gonna do is, I want your arms to come out like this, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the arms back. And what I want you to do as you turn them, you're gonna turn them on a line that matches roughly your shaft angle, okay? So it's gonna look something like this. You don't wanna be like this, all like this, it's gonna match the club shaft on the ground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pivot backwards, right? So you get the lead arm now is pointing towards where the ball would be, and your trail arm is straight back here. It teaches the feeling of opening up the body. Watch this. All we're gonna do now is reverse that process on the way down. And hey presto, we got the helicopter drill. We've got the lead arm up here, the trail arm here, where the ball would be. Watch what happens to impact here. It's such a great feeling. You get yourself set, tipping forward, helicopter. There's your backswing. Now watch this. As I come into impact now, bang. This is back here. My trail line's back here. Watch this. Look at that impact position. Absolutely perfect. It's a great and the most simple way I find of teaching anybody to feel what it's supposed to be like. With Kevin specifically, what I found was he was very static with his legs. As soon as he did this drill, he said, my God, I, can, I feel now I'm this bit's ahead while this bit's trailing. Oh, that's getting me, oh, that makes sense. What we're all after is simplicity. Again, I've used tennis drills in the past. I'll put that up in this corner here. But when you hit any shot, the lower half moves and this comes in afterwards. If you throw a ball, this, come, this goes forward, this comes in afterwards. But the problem is, some of you out there are not um, right-handed uh, uh, people, but you're playing golf right-handed, right? So sometimes throwing actions, tennis actions don't work. This is just a simple way that any of you can go about making the move, feeling a consistent line back here and then through. Let's have a look at this in action. So you've got that sensation of what it's supposed to be like at impact. Notice this, I'm not doing this. That's a big difference in it, look at this. No, 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 we hold this back as this goes forward. Now watch this. Back, I've got the feel of impact. I come back here, get myself set. Feel impact, really nice strike. Same again, so watch this. And this works with irons and driver because what we're trying to do we want a consistent, we don't want loops in your swing, yeah? Now, when you've got a helicopter drill, helicopter blades don't loop around all over the place. It's one here, two there. You get the sensation look of this moving. But the wonderful thing about it as well is, is it gives you the sensation of what happens to the rib cage on your lead side and what should be happening with your trail side. Your trail side, most people when they, when they get hit want to do this. 
right? But here it's teaching you the feel of this trail side staying behind while the lead side, our rib cages opens up. Move that lead arm back and hey presto, you've got your strike. Let's have another look at this with a driver and then I'll have, show you what it looks like with an iron as well. So let's have a look at this. I've got that sensation of this motion here. I come back, get that feeling again. And away we go. Let's have a look now We're with an iron. So, same principle. We get ourselves set here. Rehearse the drill. Don't just rush and start hitting loads of golf balls. Get the motion. One, two. Feel what that's supposed to be like. One, two. There we go. One, two. Get that sensation. Let's have a look at it from the reverse side. So let's have a look from this reverse side here. We've got the helicopter motion here where we're whipping it back here. And as we come down, I love this. Most people, like I say, come over the top, get stuck inside, all those kind of things. Notice here, by keeping this helicopter intact here, the trail shoulder stays behind. And look at this motion. You get this wonderful position here where you see a lot of good players impact. By letting the lead arm drift back here, opens up the rib cage, opens up the hips, gets that sensation perfectly. Then you bring it back. Now you've got the feeling of not only the shape of the swing, but also that wonderful impact position here as well. Let's have a look at this in action here. So we're making it back. We've now got the feeling. We're going to take it back here. We're going to open up here, get that similar kind of feeling. And let's start to launch this driver down the middle of the fairway. Just down the right side, but that's fine. Okay, let's look at it with the iron. No different whatsoever with the iron. Again, iron shots, what we're after is compression out. We want that, in a sense, club coming in at an angle. It can't come in at an angle. If this becomes stationary, we end up flicking the shot. We want a good, solid compression. Look at this. Keep the helicopter position in, in play. Hey, Presto, you've got that motion. Back here, open it up, and away you go. Let's have another look at this in action here. Back. So in summary, what have we done? Well, we said, look, we want something that gets you in a stronger position at impact here. How do you do that? Well, you've got to get the body working correctly through the impact area. The, the lower section has to rotate, the torso has to feel like it's almost hanging back a fraction so that you get this natural angle of the shaft with your irons and then you get a lovely strong impact with your driver. Learning, understanding that is one thing, learning the feel of it is another. Getting to the helicopter motion here helps you feel the trail side look is hanging behind. It pulls that lead side ahead. Hey, Presto, you've got that motion. That is as simple as that. Alternate the drills. Do the drills, get the feeling, hit the balls. Two or three balls, go back to the drill, and away you go. Get to the driving range, work on it. It will really, really work. I promise you, it's been working so well for many of my clients and worked fantastic this week for Kevin. So if you enjoyed the, uh, the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and share it with some friends who could need a little bit of a helping hand. And of course, if you are new to the channel, press that subscribe button and the bell, and I look forward to seeing you next week.